Welcome back to another video. This is just a quick one, mainly to address a few things. There are some questions that uh, I'm going to address from some of the comments on previous videos. And also just maybe clarify a couple of things from one of my screw cutting videos to do with change gears. And, um, but before we get into that, um, just want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed. I was amazed when my channel hit 100, 100 subscribers. I'm even more amazed that we've reached 250 subscribers. So it's very small numbers, but you know, I'm, I'm surprised that there's even 250 people interested in what I'm doing. So, so thank you for subscribing. I, I hope to produce some informative videos that will be of interest to you. I've taken on board some of the comments regarding the, the audio. Hopefully that will be improved going forwards. And um, so yeah, I'm, I'm learning how to make my videos better. So bear with me and hopefully things will improve as we go. Okay, um, so also recently, uh, about five weeks ago, I started a new job. Uh, it's keeping me really busy, which means that I've got less time at the moment to focus on pro personal projects and videos and such, but um, hopefully things will settle down and I'll be able to um, get back on track with some of those things. One of the projects that I really want to get onto is to carry on building the drawers for my lathe stand. And um, this this seemed to get quite a bit of interest from people previously when I when I started that project. So hopefully that'll be um, that'll be an interesting thing for people. But this video, um, I'm going to talk about uh, addressing a couple of things that a couple of people mentioned. Um, so in in one of my videos when I was talking about uh, changing the, the change gears on the machine in order to cut metric threads. I was talking about metric gears and imperial gears and, and of course the, they're not imperial and metric gears. They, they're gears that are specified by the number of teeth and when you use them in the right combinations then they'll either produce imperial pitch threads or metric pitch threads in conjunction with the gearbox on the machine if you have a gearbox. If you don't have a gearbox, then it's directly determined by the gears that you have in the in the machine. And I'll explain this a little bit more in a second. Um, so, Harry Carey uh, raised raised the points. Uh, I kind of skipped through changing the gears over on my previous video because um, I, I just thought that it wasn't going to be of interest to people, but I was wrong because. Um, this chap was, was interested to, to see how that was done. So I'm going to try and address that, but also um, I'm going to use the the Myford gearbox manual, which tells you pretty much everything you need to know. Uh, there's, there's a few charts in there that tell you about um, how to set it up for various types of imperial threads and also metric threads. So I'm just gonna come on to that in a second. Um, an interesting point from Mark Gould was um, talking about the 33 and 34 teeth change wheel option, which I was intrigued by. And I've not had a chance to look much into this yet. So if anybody has any pointers, and, uh, and Mark, if, you, if you've got any data on this, uh, feel free if you've got any links or anything like that that you're able to share. Um, I'd definitely be interested. Um, I think the point was that Mark was saying that um, uh using the the norm the standard imperial um uh gear set for normal um machining um there's a there's a, a change wheel option that that gives you quite a lot of versatility in conjunction with the quick change gearbox so um i'll definitely be more interested well i'll definitely be interested to hear more about that okay so let's have a look at the the manual and I'm going to see if I can zoom you in. So just sit tight for a second. Okay, so I'm hoping that that is clear enough for you. Um, so, like I said, this is 
this is the manual that comes with the, with the gearbox or in my case I I bought the machine with the gearbox attached and this is one of the part of the the, um, the literature that came with the machine um, so this is it uh, so in the front of the manual it gives you an outline of the quick change gearbox so on the top of the box is this table um, and what we've got is three lever positions a b and c and then there's a number of of positions along the bottom here so there's a lever on the gearbox which i'll show you in a minute um, so we've got one two three four five six seven eight times three so 24 positions on the gearbox which gives us this range in um, feed per rev of the main spindle so with the standard setup and this is all imperial by the way so we start off here at um, 0.0139 of an inch and then down in the opposite corner we've got two thou um, feed feed per revolution of the main spindle um, here we've got the um, let me check that you can see that okay so inside the change wheel cover on the machine which again I'll, I'll, I'll show you all this in a minute um, is this quadrant which normally sits in there and this is what mounts all of the, the gears um, as standard so if we just flip over the page again so we've got this range of of tables in here now so you won't necessarily be able to read it all from the video or maybe you can I don't know um, but what we've got is various configurations here and this will make more sense when I show you the machine um, but what we've got is the layout of the of the change gears and uh, not always but they can be stacked in um, double layers of gears if you like so that we can get um, even greater reductions for for fine threads and such. In this case, we've just got um, we've got three gears in line here for that particular setup, and then the this, the 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 manual just tells you you know what kind of gear arrangements that you need for different threads. So um, so for example, here we've got BA pitches here, um, and then over the page is where we have the metric um, the metric uh, pitch threads so in order to cut these threads um, this is where you need to have the the conversion kit which um, was just in shot a minute ago and there it is um, so when if you were to buy um, the metric conversion kit from MyFid um, that's what you get in the box so i'll zoom in there hopefully you can see that okay um so you get the change wheel quadrants uh, which is similar to what i just showed you but it's slightly different for the metric set um and then we've got a couple of change wheel studs which the gear, which the gears are mounted on um and then uh, various gears with uh, different numbers of teeth on. And so depending on how you arrange these gears determines what pitch thread you end up with in conjunction with the gearbox position. And then, so if I just go back to this table on here in the manual, I'm hoping that I'm explaining this well enough. So this table and this um, schematic can be found inside the cover of the machine and uh, it's quite small it's not easy to read when it's on the on the machine it's a little bit better in the manual but pretty much what it states is um, which gears to fit in these positions here um, so here we've got two gears one stacked up on top of the other. So the front gear has 63 teeth on the front and then it shown in hidden detail is another smaller gear with 60 teeth. 
same arrangement in the middle so there's 50 teeth on the front and 45 uh, tooth gear on the back and then in this position here where we've got X um, there's two types of gears that you'll need potentially if you get if well most of the time you only need one um, which would be a 60 tooth gear so um, I'll see if I can include a, a better picture of this for you unless if I bring this up and then if you want to get a screenshot of that from my video then you'll be able to do that there we go so there we are so where the column says gear X so third column along uh, a 60 tooth gear will provide everything you need apart from when you get down to here which is a three mil pitch thread which is very coarse um, I don't know maybe one day I'll have a need to turn a three mil pitch thread but um, I haven't needed to yet and who knows maybe I will um, but most of the stuff that I would be turning would be between say um, two mil pitch or maybe two and a half uh, down to half a mil so from here to here you know that covers what I need so 60 teeth on this position here is pretty much all I need and then um, so the other things that the table specifies is um, uh, so to achieve these feed per rev values which would be the pitch of the thread um, we've got this tumbler stud here so that's that position there so this is what this is the the part that you need to change the most um depending on what pitch thread you want to turn and then we've got the selector position and the lever position so i mentioned before about the lever position that that's a b and c and then the selector position moves along along the gearbox so um along this table here on the machine so i'll show you what I mean now on the machine and hopefully that will make more sense bear with me okay so here we are in front of the machine now um, this is the 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 gear train cover which I can't open fully at the moment because my toolbox is in the way um, and I've got a garage extension about to start sometime soon um, so hopefully I'll have more space in the coming weeks and months um, but anyway in here we can see the gear train that's set up for turning metric threads and um, and it looks quite different compared to the imperial setup um, the main gear here is quite a bit smaller for this setup um, compared to the the normal imperial set um, so this is what i didn't show uh, when i converted the the gear train over um, but when I was talking about the tumbler gear a minute ago, that's the tumbler gear there, which is operated by this lever here. Um, so that determines whether um, it changes the direction of the feed. Um, but the, 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 the number of teeth on this gear determines um, pretty much in conjunction with these gears, what the thread's going to be when we've got the right position selected on the gearbox. So when I showed you that chart a minute ago in the manual, you'll see, you'll recognize it, that it is that plate that's on the machine. And so what we've got is the ability to select these positions along here, depending on, on what we need. And then we've got this gear lever here, um, which uh, you, you just need to wiggle the lead screw to get it to engage, get the dogs to engage correctly. Um, but you're able to adjust this through these three positions here, um, the selector along the bottom here, um, in line with what the metric thread table tells you to set it to. Um, so, as I said, um, I'd be interested to know more about this 33 and 34 tooth change wheel option. Um, and hopefully that explains the logic behind it. Um, the only thing that I'm not showing here now is me actually taking these gears off the machine and replacing them with other gears out of the box. Um, so hopefully that explains it, but if not, please let me know in the comments and then we'll, we'll follow up and, 
and maybe I'll I'll do a little um, example of how I would physically change the gears um, and so on. So hopefully that answers it. Um, and it is a very quick video this time. Um, so please let me know if if um, if you still have questions and uh, and like I said before, thanks for the subscribing subscribers and thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.